in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use TMUX and VAM to make your development environment really productive. So first of all, what is TMUX? TMUX is a terminal multiplexer for Unix like operating systems. So uh, in TMUX, you can create multiple sessions and each of these sessions can be your different projects that you're working on. And obviously different projects can have different windows and you can switch between those windows and switch between the sessions slash projects easily. So that's the whole concept. It will be more clear once I uh, demonstrate it. So let's get started. So uh, I will cover basic use of those Tmux and uh, using some Tmux plugins and also styling the Tmux according to your needs. Now let's see what I mean by sessions and windows. So here I'm in one of my Tmux sessions and I want to see the other sessions that I had opened before or go to those sessions. So I can do that by pressing Control Vs. That will list me the sessions that I have available. And I can also see that I had two windows open in this session. So first one being zero files, files being the name of the window and zero being the index associated with the window. And one being the index here and server being the name of the window. And I can go to another session. Let's go to a dot file. So in dot files, what I have is I can, I have uh, my WebRC file, my zshrc file and my tmx config file so i can just go there and if i have to make some changes to the vimrc file or i want to uh, have a look at my uh, zshrc file or tmx config i can easily do that so i have grouped them together group similar things together in this particular session and i can go back to the thing i was working on uh, by doing control B S and navigating to box play if I want to work on box play. Now you can clearly see how Tmux shines when you're working with multiple projects and you want to switch between those projects seamlessly. Another big advantage of Tmux is it preserves the terminal state that you had opened the project in when even if you close the terminal. So what I mean by that is if I press this red button, usually what happens is uh, I have to CD back to the folders and open the file again and that weighs me like a precious few minutes that I had in my day. So it doesn't sound like a lot but if you do that often enough then um, it, com it comes back to bite you. So let's press this red button and see how we can get back into the sessions we had here. So I press this red button, everything is gone and now let's launch back the item again. So it opens up a new item and now let me just see if it's maximized enough yep it is and i can list the tmux sessions that i had by doing tmux ls so still all my sessions are there and i can attach to the tmux session by tmux attach is so it attaches me to the last session that i had opened here so that's that's really beautiful and i can view the sessions again and go back to any other sessions and nothing is lost that's that, in my opinion that's really amazing and i started using this less than a month ago and it has uh, definitely brought about a lot of um, improvement in terms of productivity and uh, what else i want to cover so i have covered basic tmux usage but i have not shown you how to create tmux session so let's go through that as well so let me exit out of this by pressing con control b d d as in detach so uh, so to create new sessions what you have to do is tmux new session minus s and test sesh let's do test sesh and press enter so it creates a new session called test sesh as you can see on the left hand side here and it opens up a new window for you as well and uh, uh, and you can go go to any other session other other sessions by doing the same control bs go back to test session and navigate to a window list let's open something here let's uh, let me just do asteroid let me go to this folder and of config and yeah just just navigating around and going to different files and coming back to the session and let's close this window and let's open it back and i'm just trying to show you like if you accidentally managed to close it it's still there so you can do tmux attach to attach to the last session you had open so here we are we are in our test session and now uh, i would like to cover a few tmux plugins uh, to use tmux plugins you need 
uh, tmux plugin manager so let's let me go to my um, github and show you how to set that up so to uh, you can use my github and it has all the commands to run to set the tmux plugin manager up so all you have to do is you have to clone the repository so tpm this is the repository for the plugin manager and to install the plugin you have to run basically this command and once you have done that you have to create tmux config so let me just open tmux config and show you what is in there and walk you through it line by line and uh, tell tell you what it does uh, so let's go to the dot files and uh, open tmux config and yes so the first command is basically saying when I press bind key and capital R uh, reload my config file so bind key is, is the same as prefix key prefix key being control B uh, so when I press control B R reload my team as config so I can do that now because I have already loaded my config file before uh, so control B capital R it shows me the message config successfully loaded and the other ones here from this to this line is related to how what, what information am I displaying basically not 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 even there so it's basically from here to here what information and the style in which information is displayed in my uh, pane uh, in my uh, pane here so it, sh it shows you uh, the session name and the different windows that I have open and it shows me also the device name this is useful for, useful for me because I have remote servers that I'm working in and I want to know if I'm in my Linux environment or if I'm in my personal computer and it shows me the date and the time just in case I need it and uh, and the rest now we can go to the plugin so I have two plugins here so this is the plugin manager basically TPM which is right here and the two plugins that I use is these two so first one being fzf so if you're family already familiar with fzf we are working with them so what fzf F is it is fast uh, is a tool that you can use to search files really fast that's the main thing i i use it for that probably not the correct definition so you just saw me doing space b and easily navigate between the files or you can search different files that you have really quickly using fzf so i definitely recommend uh, using F FZF, we are, we are using already using them. So now, what is the use of this particular uh, plugin? So to install this plugin, you just have to add this line into your TMS config, and then to install the plugin, all you have to do is Control B to invoke TMUX and I think Shift I. Yeah, so it shows you TMUX environment reloaded. Done. Press Escape to continue. So press escape so it will basically install that plugin for you so how you will use this plugin is uh, you press ctrl b as usual to invoke tmux and then press shift f to invoke the fzf so here it has different uh, things available to you so session related things window related things pain related things i haven't talked about pain yet so let's say i want to kill a particular session so you remember the test session that we had open i want to kill that so i can press enter on session and go to kill and i want to kill test session so let's cancel that let's rename test session to test something else so let's uh, go back do control b shift f session uh, rename and test session so it will open up a small pane here and it, it'll ask me what I want to remain, rename it to. So I want to rename it to new test. Press enter. Let's see if that worked. Control B S and then let's go back to, yeah, there you go. It uh, renamed uh, my session to new test. I can also rename my windows. It doesn't make really make sense 
web so i i generally name the session files but the one that contains files i'm working in so let's press control shimmer dev window rename for current window and rename it to files so you see that that makes the process really quick let's delete this session so similarly control b shift f session kill current yes so it obviously exited because we were in that session so we can attach attached back to the team of session by tmx attach and it attaches us to the dot file session as you can see at the bottom left that's great so uh, i have showed you what tmux uh, fcf does now let's look at tmux resurrect which is really amazing so as i had told you before if i if i close my terminal here you can restore the windows you will be able to restore the windows because technically the computer is still running and the tmux server is still running you can also check that how it is running by checking your activity monitor and you can search for the word tmux and you can see one two three four five six the six windows i'm not sure if it will be exactly six i think the one is the actual main server probably you know, one two three four five no it is actually six because it starts with zero right now let's see what tmux resurrect is for tmux resurrect is an amazing plugin that allows you to restore your sessions even if your computer gets switched off accidentally or you purposefully want to switch it off doesn't matter so to save a session you have to press ctrl b ctrl s this will start saving your tmux sessions the way it is currently and you can we can test this by doing ctrl b d so to detach from the sessions that we had and we can do tmux ls to see the different sessions and we can do tmux kill server to emulate a situation where your computer has to switch off or has to restart so when you do this and you do tmux ls you you obviously get there's no servers running because you just killed it and to get back all the different sessions that we had we had to first create a new session so let's create a new session called test and then you press ctrl b ctrl r for restore and let tmux resurrect do its magic and shortly enough we should have yes we do so we have our different sessions we can press that check, check that by doing ctrl b s for different sessions and you can look at the different windows that we have and yeah so everything is restored it saves us so much time at least 10 to 15 minutes in case we had to switch off or restart our computer so yeah i think that's about it um uh, so yeah that's pretty much it what i wanted to cover in regards to tmux and how i integrated that into my win development environment and you can check out my github to make webrc the way it was in my video and also uh, installing uh, tmux <coughs> not installing configuring tmux uh, the way i had shown you and so basically you have to just follow the instructions here and I have my tmux config file that I showed you right here so you just have to copy these contents follow the instructions and you should be okay um, let me know if you have any trouble installing or getting around with tmux vim happy to help happy to learn thanks for watching bye